I'm going to show you my number one choice for an appointment booking plugin solution for your WordPress website. I'm not kidding. There are so many options out there, but what you can do for free with this plugin is going to blow your mind. I'm not making this up. I'm referring to the MotoPress appointment booking plugin that you can get for free that you can install. Here's an example of one of their demos that I've currently got on screen and you can go and load this up, jig around with the images and the content. It's fully kitted out and built for you. But look at the button over there. When you click that, you'll be given options to tweak your appointment. So I'm going to go and pick leadership training and I'm going to go for Terry Lane and hit next. This is all within WordPress and you can get all of this for free. Let's go and pick the 21st of December and we'll go for 10 a.m. and hit the next button. And there's a charge there. And I could either pay when I get to the venue or you could actually check out over here with the plugin. Now to pay via the site, you would have to go for the premium version. I am going to mention that right at the end. However, I'm going to focus on what what you can do for free. Imagine you're a hairdresser or a barber, an agency, a freelancer, a coach, a consultant, an accountant, anyone who needs to offer appointments. Well, people can now go to your website and they can now select date and time. But what if you're a member of a team? Well, you can even select different members as well or different locations. It is so packed out with what you can do here. This is an example WordPress website just to show you how versatile the plugin is. We've got employees, locations, service category and services. Now they don't all have to be on the same page. I've just done that with boxes just to show you what it does. Now I'm going to click on Sally Hawk and we get taken to a page. Now this could be anywhere on your website. You can create this how you want. Gutenberg, Elemental, whatever you want. We get some information about Sally, social media, services and price, and we can see her availability. Now over here we have the appointment form and this has been tailored to Sally Hawk. So if I go and book anything, it will be specifically for her. What about if we take an interest in what services are provided in London? Now over here, this is a pretty plain looking page. I've just got a title and an appointment form. Notice the location field is missing because it's already specifically tailored to London. But you could pad this out with images, further content, map, whatever you want. That's the beauty about the plugin. You can drop in the form as a short code or a widget and I'm going to show you all of that. I'm going to select events and then when I go to service, the only option available is away day because that's the only service we're providing. When I pick away day, the only person providing it is Tom Agger. And then I can go and start to pick my particular day and my particular time slot. The cost is going to be 2,999 euros. I'm allowed to have a maximum of eight people attending the event. And it doesn't matter how many I pick, it's still going to be 299 because you're paying for the away day. And then I can provide my details and either pay at the venue but with the premium version, you can pay on the spot by PayPal, Stripe and other gateways. What if I'm offering a specific service that isn't a one to one or an all day, but it's for groups? Well, if I go and click that, we now get taken to a page. And like I said, you could pad this out with whatever info you want. I can now go and pick my particular location and it's only available in Paris. The employee is Jack Dance. I've got loads more options here now because we've set a specific schedule. I'm going to go for the 19th of December and we're going to go for 9.30 a.m. At the moment, it's 99 euros. Now watch what happens when I pick four. The cost has gone up multiplied by four. So you can decide to have cost per person, cost per event. It's so versatile. But what if you want to make it easier and just have the appointment form on your home page? Like you don't want them to have to click a button to go here or there. You can just drop it in on the home page or wherever you want. And now you can go and pick your category. We'll go for appointments, go and pick your service, go and pick your location, and then go and pick your employee. Now at the moment, Sally provides that service in London. If I go and pick Paris, Jack Dan provides it. So you could be a salon with three different hairdressers offering different services or even the same type of service. Someone comes along, wants to make a booking and they can pick from who is available. Or it might be specifically for like highlights in your hair is only done by a certain hairdresser. It could be a surgery with lots of doctors. I mean, the options are pretty endless here. But how easy is it to add to your website and actually use? Go to WordPress plugins, add new plugin, do a search for MotoPress and you want to use the WordPress appointment booking plugin. Install and activate. Once that's done, you're going to have a load of options down here and it might feel like there's a lot here, but we're going to fly through this because I'm going to show you exactly how did I build that homepage I've 
just shown you with all of those options and how did I tailor the appointment forms as well. Now you will notice at the bottom here, there are the options to go premium and there are some extensions. Let me just show you the extensions. There are various add-ons available to you like Square Payments or integrating with your WooCommerce. Of course, these are paid for. So when you click them, you will have to upgrade. And if you want to get more features out of Motopress, then I recommend you go for the premium option like manual bookings, your payment gateways for PayPal and Stripe, integrating your employees or your staff members with their Google calendars like that can be pretty damn neat but you may find that what you get out of the free version is more than enough so I'm going to go over to settings you are going to notice various tabs but don't be put off because you can fly through these at a really quick rate the default time step is normally how long each of your services are now even if you go and put in 15 or 5 or 30 or whatever that does not mean every service is stuck to that because when you come to create your services you can literally overwrite that so if I go and say from the get-go everything is 15 minutes I could go and say the one-to-one -one is 60 minutes or the away day is eight hours so don't worry about that but it's a good thing to go and pop a default one in anyway when an appointment is made do you want it confirmed automatically or do you want admin to manually approve it and if it's a high ticket event you want to definitely make sure payment has landed make sure you've created a page for your terms and conditions and go and select it I'm going to allow multi-booking Maybe I want to do a one-to-one -one with Sally and I want to do an away day with Tom as well. That is allowed. You can enable the use of coupons and the setting is there for you to go and set the start and end date. The features here for cancellation are so well thought out. Are you going to let the customer cancel by having a link or do they have to contact you? And I think this is so super good. How many plugins have you seen that give you these well thought out features? I've changed my currency to be pound sterling, but the options you have available in here are super strong. The email tab allows you to define what you as admin or the customer gets when a booking is made. I would recommend that you test it out with what it currently gives you by default and then if you need to refine it go and manage and rearrange the items. And if you're a little bit unsure about some of the tags that are shown here if you scroll down you're going to see a list of what is available. The notifications tab is self-explanatory so as a customer when I've made a booking I'm going to get an email from this person here. But I could also enable the feature whereby I get confirmation on my mobile phone as a customer you can go and install this extension it is an add-on you've got to pay for it but if it's really important for you and your business go for it when you go to the payments tab the only options available to you for the free version are pay on site which is quite normal because when I make an appointment with my hairdresser I pay when I'm there and I've had my hair cut not prior but for some services or facilities you offer you might want to take payment prior that is where you are going to need the premium version so for the free version I'm just going to go for pay on site. Of course, if you were using PayPal or Stripe, you might want to say, look, you've got to make the booking or pay within 60 minutes or maybe even 15 minutes. Once you've gone for the premium version, you can synchronize with your Google Calendar. But like I said, we're focusing on the free version here. That was the settings. Looks like a lot, but trust me, you're going to fly through it. Over on the left hand side, we've got loads of other options. Let's start going through them. The calendar is basically going to show you where your appointments are made. You're going to see how things pan out. And what's really cool cool is it does come with a filtering system so you can search by employee location or services and you can look at it by month week day that's pretty cool on the bookings tab you're going to see a list of all your bookings now if you go for the premium version you can manually add them in and this is where I feel like the premium version does have it as advantages so let's say you're a hairdresser you're going to have an online booking system like what we're doing here but let's say someone walks into the hairdresser or calls you up wouldn't you want to have the feature where you can now add their details in? I mean, it makes total sense, but I'm just letting you know that is the premium version. But if you're OK with a pure online system, then this plugin rocks. So let's go to the employees tab. And here you can see the three employees I've added. Once you've created one, you can actually just duplicate and then just go and modify the details. I'm going to show you what I did for Sally Hall. I gave it a name and I put some content in. You don't have to add any content in here. If you want to go and add in like a gallery or a video, you can do all of that here in the block editor. Just be conscious, though, of what you pop in and how much info, because don't forget, when you have like an appointment booking system, you don't want to overdo it. If I take an interest to who Sally is, I'll go in. Yep. Yeah, do I want to make a booking with her? And then you hope they convert and make that booking. On the right hand side, you got the featured image. So title content, if you want featured image. Now, further down here is where you go and add in some extra particulars. 
Now, if you're going to allow your employee, so Sally, to have the facility to log into your website and then they can go and see their bookings and what appointments have been made, then go and set them up with a WordPress user email. It must be a WordPress one because otherwise, how are they going to be able to log in? So they've got to be a user on your website. But if you're going to manage the entire system, then you don't have to fill that in, but I'll leave that up to you. You can also put the phone number in here. So are you going to allow prospective customers the ability to contact Sally? Further down for social networks, I've added them in for Facebook and LinkedIn. Now, I have intentionally left this one blank just to show you how does it look on the page. And I've gone and given them a class name of moto underscore text. Why have I done that? Well, if you were using like Gutenberg or Elementor or any other page builder and you drop the forms or contents on, maybe you want to modify them a little bit. So by giving them a class name, I open up the facility for you to do that. Additional information is completely optional. These are normally blank. I've gone and created two for years of experience, 12 years. And again, I've gone and put Moto text there in case I want to format it. I mean, I'm not actually formatting it, but I want to show you the facility is there specializes in and I've gone and put digital marketing and then I've hit update. That's literally how simple it was. And once you've done one, you can duplicate it and then just modify the title for the name the content, any of the details down here and the image. It's so quick and easy to do. Back on the employees list, you will notice that it has the services, but there was no facility for me to pick the services. That's because we do it later. But if you follow the flow and the logic of how I'm doing it, everything will make sense. So first go and do your employees, then go and have a look at your service categories. I've only got two appointments and events. You would just go and pop in a name here. Let's go for consultation and I'm now going to add that. Now, you don't have to have a service category. You could jump straight from employees to services. You've got to have the services. You can't get away from that. But if you know you're going to have like a branching system or a hierarchy of services with certain service categories, because you've got a range of things that you cover, it's not a bad idea to do this. Let's now jump over to locations. I've got three of them there and this is really easy. Just go and click add new, give it a title and hit publish. That's literally it. Now let's go to the two most important settings. First one is schedule. Once you've created one, you can go and hit duplicate and then modify the details. Let's just go into Sally Hawk schedule. What you do is you would have hit add new and you go and give it a title. Then make sure you've gone and pick the relevant employee. So in this case, Sally, and then go and pick their primary location. Now, if Sally provides the one to one service in all of those four locations, it's OK for you to just go and pick one. If she primarily works in London, go and pick London. It doesn't really matter, but you do have to make sure you pick at least one. And when it comes to her schedule, she does not work on Saturday, Sunday. On Monday, she works in the morning, has a lunch break, and then she works in the afternoon, all in London. And then for the rest of the week, from Tuesday to Friday, she works in the morning. How do you go and add in details? Notice over here, we have a lunchtime break. I'm going to go and click add. And I'm now going to go to Tuesday and I'm now going to say for the afternoon, which is 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., she is working again. And you do get the options down here. Now, we've already covered off lunch and you can go and add in a break as well. We're going to leave it as working hours. But I'm now going to say for some bizarre reason, during her lunch break, she goes and flies over to Paris. So you can mix up the locations, even though the primary main location is London, you can mix it up. So if you've got someone who works in different cities, maybe they work in Leicester and then in the afternoon, they work in Derby or Nottingham. You can do that. Does Sally have any days off? Well, let's go and add some in. I'm going to say that she's not available from the 25th of December to the 2nd of January 2024. You click add and look, it's added in. You want to remove it, you remove. You want to add any more in, you go and do that. But maybe she does work on Saturday sometimes. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click add. And I'm going to say that on the 23rd of December, she is working from 9 a.m. to midday day 12 p.m. And there we go. December 23rd, 9 a.m. to 12. So you could have someone that only works on a Monday, but during November, they're actually going to be there for a Friday as well, every Friday or whatever they want. Is that or is that not super easy what I just did? This is Tom Agger's schedule. His services are only away days. And look at this, 8 to 5, 8 to 5, 8 to 5, New York, Paris, London, New York, Paris, London. How cool is that? Now let's go over to the services. I have three of them, away day, group, one-to-one. -one. They have different prices and they have 
different durations as well. Let's go to the one to one. We're going to hit edit. Make sure you got a title and give it a default price. Now, remember the 99. Please store that because I'm going to show you how we can change that per employee. The duration is one hour. Buffer time before. So the one to one is one hour. But let's say she's got one at 9 a.m. and another one at 10 a.m. Well, that doesn't work very well, does it? Because you're going from appointment to appointment to appointment. So what we now have is a buffer time. So if someone books an appointment at nine o'clock, the next appointment can't be booked until 10.30 because nine to 10 is the appointment. You have 30 minute buffer time and then the next one would be 10.30. So that's quite important. What about the minimum period? So over here, I've said, you cannot book an appointment on the day. There must be one day prior to you make an appointment. So if you want an appointment on Wednesday, you've got to make sure you've done it by Tuesday. You can't book for Wednesday on Wednesday. How many days in the future can you book? Now, at the moment, it's set to 14 days. I'm going to change it six months. So if you're booking out a venue for weddings or conferences, can you see the versatility you got here? You can even go down to minutes. What is the minimum and the maximum capacity? So in the case of the one, to one, it is just one person, which is why it's a one to one. And down here, this service is applicable to Sally and Jack. They both provide one to ones. But notice here, I have customized it by adding in a variation. So if Sally Hawk does this service, which she does because it's tick, price is actually 250. So if Jack provides it, the price is 99 because of the default price we had at the top. So you could have five hairdressers but one of them is like proper specialized celebrity status. They might charge double what your other hairdressers do. You can build that in. And if you were gonna take prior payment, you can now also set a deposit. So it might be there is no deposit because it's pay on site when you get there, or it might be a fixed price. So it might be 50 pounds or a percentage, which would be 50% of the total price. If you want to set a featured image, you can do. I've left it blank, but do pay attention to the categories this one-to-one -one service is relevant for appointments. If we go back to the employees tab, can you see here that Sally and Jack both have one-to-one? -one? Because when we got to the services and we created it, we ticked their names, which is why you want to follow a certain order. Go and do your employees, do your service categories if you want, go and do your location, do your schedules, and then start to do your services. Let me quickly show you the group and the away day because there's a little bit of a difference in them. The group is again selected for appointments. We got a price in there for 90 We've got our time set out, the buffer time, all of that. But our maximum capacity is now set to eight. And we also say multiply the price by the number of people. If you have one person, it's $99. If you have five people, it's five times 99. This is only relevant for Jack. On the away day, price is much higher at 2,999. The duration is nine hours. You've got to make sure you book three days in advance. The maximum capacity is eight, but it is now not multiplied by the price. So you pay two. 299 and it doesn't matter if you have two people attending or a maximum of eight people. And I could make this a lot bigger. I could go and pop in 800. You can cater this for your venue, your service, or what you're providing. If I haven't got you excited about what you can do with a free appointment booking plugin for your WordPress website, then I'm doing something wrong. Now, let me show you how you would add an appointment form to your WordPress pages. Now, you can do it as a short code, or you can actually go and drop a widget on your page. Let me show you the short code first. Click short code and then go over to add new. Now, you will have options over here. So, do you want to show like an employees list or a locations list. Now I've already shown you on this example page that I just went and dropped in boxes. There are widgets available for you, but if you want to show things in a certain way, go and use them. I'm just going to show you the appointment form because it's really, really simple. I'm going to give this a title and I'm not going to show you the service category and I'm not even going to show you the location. I'm just going to say, show me the service and the employee. I mean, it's a bit ludicrous not to show the location, but I just want to get across how you have control over this. I'm going to change my labels. I'm going to change service to be level and employee to be expert. You can do what you want here. I'm going to go down to my default value and intentionally I'm going to change my location to be London. This appointment form is specifically just for London. Do you want to show the end time? So let's say you've got slots which are one hour. Do you want to show nine to 10 or do you just want to show 9 a.m. for instance? Let's go and hit publish. And what we now have is a short code. And if you forget the short code, don't worry. Whenever you go back over, you will then see it here. I'm going to pick that short code up inside my homepage. I'm going to go and grab the short code widget. And you can do this in Gutenberg, Block Editor, whatever you're using. I'm using Elementor. 
and I'm now going to drop in that short code. The form is now added. You can see the title is appointment form. I can only pick one to one in a way day because this is specifically targeting London. When we go to the expert, we only have Sally and Tom. So that was me using a short code. But if you don't want to do the short code, that's OK because you have widgets available for you. Like here, we've got appointment form. Just go and drop that in. You do have employees list, locations list, title as well. I'm going to show you these when I go back to the Sally page really, really quickly. But go and drag the appointment form in and it's basically the same settings. So do you want to show the category? Do you want to show the location? Let's get rid of it. It's now disappeared. Do you want to change the labels? Yes, you can. Do you want the form to be specific for a particular location? So I'm going to say this is only for London. So it now says London and we'll go, OK, well, if it's going to do that, let's get rid of it because this will be on the London page. Remember right at the start, I had a page for group, I had a page for London and all of that. That's basically what it was. Just copy paste it in and just change the settings. When it comes to being intuitive, this ticks all the boxes. Back on the Sally Hawk page, you can see how I've built it over here. I have the employee content down here. I've got the employee social networks. And don't forget, you could go over here and go and drag the widget in. I've got the employee service list. I've got the employee schedule. This is just an image I've added in over here. We have the appointment form. When you scroll down, you can see it is selected to be Sally Hawk. Let's go and drop in some further information like employee additional. If you want to reposition it, just go and do that. And that's the dynamic data pulled through. Appointment booking systems could not be simpler. When we go to Sally Hawk, remember we added in a one off extra day on the 23rd of December. I go and pick it and it's locked down to only be for the morning. We go for 10.15. We go and hit next. We can see the details. Her price is going to be 250. You go and enter in your details. And once you've done that, if you're going to pay because you've got the premium version, you would go and do that or you would pay when you get on site. This is available for you to use for free. It's brilliant. If you want more with manually adding in bookings, if you want to connect to your Google Calendar, if you want to have the Stripe and PayPal all integrated, maybe you want to add in Google Analytics or the SMS, you got to go for premium. Look, they've got demos that you can download as well. That's fully kitted out with all your pages, with all your setup, or you can build it out your own and just start with the free version. You've got to try this out. Probably the best appointment booking plugin that you can use right now, today, for free. And I'm not just saying that. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'd love to see your comments. See you soon. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win your life. Have no shame, there's no time.